Hi Aquarius, this is your next, uh, well this is just your regular monthly reading actually. Um, sorry, I was just, I was about to film the next 7 day readings for Patreon, so that's why I said that. Anyways, hi, hello and welcome, my name is Victoria if you are new here. Um, thank you so much for clicking this video, whether you are returning or this is your first time seeing me, thank you so much for clicking this reading. Okay, so if you're someone rising or a Venus sign, it's in sign of Aquarius, these messages are for you. We're going to have an overall look. Uh, what is in store for you this january and i'm super excited to get into it venus just moved into aquarius we just had a full moon in um cancer i'm feeling cozy so i have my little this is literally my uh emotional support blanket so it's gonna be in today's reading so we're just gonna start off by looking at overall energy just to see the overall vibe and then we're gonna look into career finance and then your love life so yeah how have you been Aquarius it's almost your season um, if you would like a birthday reading my ah, my readings are open for personal readings the link is in the description box below and for those of you who want to treat yourselves as the beginning of the month it's the best time for you to join my patreon family patreon is where you get early ad free access to all of my youtube content including free weekly readings where i come on here i film just like this and i tell you what the next seven days has in store so if you're interested the link is also in the description box below i also have a love tier where we do love readings and you get 20 percent off any love reading that you book anyways link in the description box let's get into it overall energy for um aquarius let's see what we have for aquarius it's already 2023 you guys this is the very first reading that i do for you guys this year what a moment we we love a good moment okay let's see what do we have for aquarius so i'm gonna this card wants to come out we have wonders Ooh, wonders so i'm hearing welcome to the world of wonders i feel like there's something here about your reality shifting you're not going to be able to fully predict aquarius how the next 12 months unfold wonders it's also making me think about what are your true life goals what are your dreams what do you wonder about aquarius wonders i feel so this is the wonderland okay so there's something here about you creating your own world you creating your own reality what does that look like what does that feel like at the bottom deck we have healing chaos i really really feel like there's something here aquarius reminding you to take a step back and look at the bigger picture and this is what you do this is what you do this is what aquarius is do they see everything in hindsight so with the healing chaos card i feel so you're going back to heal certain pains that you experienced in the past you may be reconnecting with your with your old self okay i personally something i love to do I, i'll sit with myself and i will literally think about a specific time period of time where i needed love okay and i will send that love to myself and love the thing about love is that it transcends time and space that means that we access our memories through love that's a video for another day but what i'm saying with this healing chaos card is that i feel like you're tying all the things together from your upbringing let's say from recent experiences you're having a better understanding of the patterns that are unfolding within your life and it's all leading you towards a place of healing energy so you're healing chaos People might also come to you, Aquarius, for wisdom, guidance. You may have to break up a fight. You may have to be like that neutral energy in the middle that keeps everyone from hurting each other. Okay? Healing chaos. That is very interesting. So I feel so you're going to have the opportunity in January to... Uh, to, 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 to make amends. To heal yourself or to heal an issue from the past. So closure is coming, essentially. After all, all of that, I'm saying closure is coming. We also picked up on the relaxation card. Is it possible that Aquarius season being around the corner is kind of reminding you of the pleasures of life, possibly? It's possibly giving you a little extra motivation to treat yourself, possibly, and to allow yourself to pace yourself when it comes to the new year ahead is that possible because we have the relaxation card and it seems like you are pretty relaxed some of you may be going on vacation i know we just came back from vacation but for some of you it's vacation we got focus and we got fulfillment you're going to really really put yourself first this month um 
Aquarius, you're going to learn to love the small things in life. I feel like you have a newfound perspective and understanding of what you need deep down in your own soul in order to make things happen. Does that make sense? Like, I feel so your focus has shifted and now you are entering a phase of enlightenment. And I see you really looking at the bright side, which is rare for Aquarius because you guys tend to be a little a little pessimistic sometimes but with the fulfillment card i feel so you are seeing the bright side of things and you are enjoying the fruits of your labor of your focus of your determination does that make sense so i just see you experiencing success in that sense but it does feel so it's mostly happening on a subconscious spiritual like energetic level where you are the one noticing the subtleties and the changes of like your behavior your response to things does that make sense so things are definitely shifting in your favor, Aquarius, and I see you kind of becoming more and more conscious of that. And I just see you kind of just still staying in your own world and feeling very stimulated by that because we have the fulfillment card. So other people may not get it, but I definitely see the vision, Aquarius. I definitely do. Okay, let's look into um, your career and your financial situation. Uh, just anything life-related. We could pick up on, you know, traveling or relocating or you're getting a new home something like that so let's just look into your love life real quick and then we will look into your love life and if you enjoy these kinds of readings please do not hesitate to give this reading a thumbs up if it's just you know a hundred of you guys watching i would really appreciate you know a hundred likes so i know that you appreciate my energy and that i should continue doing these videos and also subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your bell post notifications so that you don't miss a reading and also shout out to my patreon because you guys have already watched this video because i share it with you guys first okay anyways enough rambling i just miss connecting with you guys truly like aquarius is one of my favorite zodiac signs i think i tell you guys this all the time but i don't think you guys like truly understand my appreciation like all i ever do is hang out with uh, Aquarius placements specifically Aquarius moons is what I attract a lot of Aquarius moons specifically anyways what signs do you guys attract as Aquarius is because I'm a Scorpio myself so I'm wondering do you guys attract Scorpios a lot like Scorpio suns or Scorpio moons like let me know in the comments what you attract anyways let's see what we got going on what is Aquarius's financial situation and life looking like in January okay first and foremost we have the world card okay I'm getting something about license some of you want to get license for it something or you're going to get your license okay something about license okay so we got the world card we have the Sun card embodying your truth right embodying the things that bring joy and excitement and enthusiasm some of you there's definitely energy here of fertility okay it could be literal children because we did pull the children card especially if there's a leo involved okay or the child could be a leo so they could be born in like august or uh what is leo and yeah august early august anyways end of july early august okay anyways so that's something there okay there's something here about fertility trying for a new child so would that be okay yeah that's kind of kind of nine months from now anyways whatever okay if it's not a pregnancy or fertility in that sense you guys and it's definitely an emphasis on your creativity your happiness your self-expression your style so you may be trying something new when it comes to your physical style you may be getting back into a hobby that you have long forgotten about okay but you're reconnecting with your inner child which is very fun so i see you embracing your playful lighthearted energy and it's super funny that this also represents leo which is your sister sign your polar opposite so i just see you kind of like dabbling into that energy also something to keep in mind is the full moon in leo i don't believe it's happening in january i think it might be in february but whenever it is keep that in mind keep in mind i said that it, it could be a significant time for you we have the um eight of cups this this card is actually my full moon card so it's funny that i just mentioned the full moon in leo okay so we have the wheel of fortune so many wheels okay and then we have the eight of pentacles we have the lover's card oh fascinating 
fascinating uh we have the emperor card we've got the knight of swords definitely we're not even looking into love yet aquarius but some of you may be experiencing a love interest at your workplace and or you um are dating or getting to know or you have romantic feelings for a business person specifically a businessman there's a lot of masculine energy ceo energy entrepreneurship energy this could also be you aquarius you may be tapping into this energy for yourself so you may be researching something um asking questions when it comes to like a mentor a higher up you could be inquiring about something i just see you being in communications with someone that is possibly in a leadership position a position of power but I also see some of you researching something for you to start your own business because this is the entrepreneurship card, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for you. I, I see some of you, there's something about uh, communication being exchanged. Now, again, back to the lovers. Some of you, it's like either there's a love interest at your works at your workplace possibly um or you are deciding to pour more love and energy into what you do especially if you're passionate about the way that you make money but there's something here about you perfecting your craft aquarius and so i'm not sure if you are going to be working alongside another person because this does kind of hint at some kind of partnership so it could be a business relationship for instance okay but there could be a specific person here helping you out or someone that you're vibing with that helps you again perfect your craft get better improve in some way this could be school related career related finance related all that stuff okay but it seems like you're also walking away from something let me see what is it that you're walking away from let's get clarity excuse me Let's get clarity on the Eight of Cups because it seems like you may be walking away from something bittersweet. Are you relocating? Are you moving? Let's let's see. What is the Eight of Cups about, please? Because I, I feel overall like you are embracing a new cycle now. It's like we don't know where something is leading us to, but I see you letting go of control when it comes to a certain like outcome. I see you having faith trusting the process you may be someone may be taking a chance on you Aquarius because I do feel so there is something about a higher up giving you permission or giving you some type of information so it kind of feels like do you feel like you're living someone else's dream okay let's see what is the eight of cups for Aquarius please what is the eight of cups for Aquarius what is the eight of cups okay we have the five of we have the five five of pentacles so maybe you felt like you had to leave something because you weren't getting paid properly or you weren't you feel like you weren't the energy was not being reciprocated so either you are unhappy with an old career situation again it wasn't paying enough it wasn't sustainable so you're sad it feels like you're heartbroken from this or you really loved who you worked with or who you worked for so some of you it seems like you're missing how things used to be in january okay it feels like this is like a bittersweet transition what else do we have we have the six of swords so yes uh, some of you may be completely changing jobs changing fields okay or it feels like your favorite co-worker has left i don't know there's something here that you may be kind of like grieving but overall i feel so money is still looking good i see you making likely an important purchase that you're you're actively saving up for this is also my tattoo card. The lovers, for some reason, is my tattoo card. So some of you are getting, you know, a bigger piece that you're adding to your body, for instance, okay? At the bottom deck, we have the Queen of Swords. So here you are, Aquarius. Queen of Swords, energy, five of cups. It's like, even though you understand the hindsight, you understand how things are supposed to be, you understand the direction that you're headed towards, you're still feeling bittersweet about something. You're mourning how the past unfolded. Maybe some of you feel abandoned not looked after there's an element of sadness here that we're feeling when it comes to welcoming this new cycle so some of you like this this kind of makes you think about motherhood in a sense maybe some of you are like grieving your old self before you became a parent like that's that's a feeling they're giving me it doesn't mean that everyone's feeling that it doesn't mean that everyone watching is a parent or a mother but what i'm trying to say aquarius is like there's something here about you like really feeling determined the 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 work continues the legacy continues the marathon continues okay but it's like this feeling of us still feeling kind of kind of sad about what we had to let go of what we had to walk away from even if we are letting go or walking away from our old selves or who we thought we were it's deep it feels psychological in a sense a lot of this feels like it's happening on like an emotional 
uh, intuitive level, but there is still this level of understanding that we have to detach a little bit and remain focused. Okay, so whatever this hurdle is, Aquarius, you're going to be just great. And I was actually just going to call you Capricorn, which is very strange. So some of you may have Capricorn placements, for instance, or maybe you're Capricorn Sun. Okay, but anyways, let's let's move forwards. I'm going to um, pull on your love life. Let's see how Aquarius in love is looking like. I just want to remind you to please give this reading a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that because I'm wondering, do you, do most of you guys just not have a YouTube account to do that? Or can you like a thing even if, because I'm wondering why the views don't represent the, um, I'm just trying to figure out the algorithm, how it works. Anyways, okay, Aquarius, let's look into your love life. And I hate when my readings go over 20 minutes, but I just cannot stop talking. Like one thing about me, and especially if you have booked a reading with me, you know that I like to go deep like I like to get as much information as possible I want my readings and my messages to be as clear as possible so it does mean that I'm quite talkative in my readings when I read for people all right Aquarius let's have a look at what is going on in love for you this January and I have to film this before the sun sets what's going on for you in love right away Aquarius I see a love offer or I see an opportunity for us to experience the sense of emotional fulfillment and abundance and no Aquarius you do not need a partner to be experiencing this Venus which is the sign of love and partnership has just entered your sign Aquarius and so it's a great time for us to focus on what makes us truly happy what makes us feel good about ourselves so now it's time to pour into ourselves pour into your health, pour into your appearance, you know, the things that make you truly feel good on the inside. Now, there's also something here about friendships. I see a lot of you becoming more fulfilled the more you spend time with friends, the more you communicate with them and all that stuff and reconnect with them. What else do we have? We got the Queen of Swords. Look at you. So I see you becoming more and more like feeling more in tune with your emotions, feeling more confident, more lovable. Some of you may also be making some kind of move when it comes to your love life like some of you may be actually pouring out your feelings and if you're dealing with another air sign like an aquarius libra um gemini they may be um giving you some kind of love offer we have the four of cups so listen here i'm only gonna say it once first of all i love that all your cards are blue that makes me think about being outside the nice like blue sunny day Anyways, there's going to be some kind of love offer or love opportunity on the table here. Let me pull more cards. I'm getting something about Saturday, okay? We have the uh, the Eight of Pentacles. So uh, some of you, you're guided to work on your partnership. There's, someone, there's something here you want to give up on. You're guided not to give up on that. Whatever is love-related, whether it's like giving up on love period like you're guided to continue working towards this if you are in a partnership right now again same thing there's a way for you to rekindle that love we have the seven of wands someone is trying very hard to get your attention or maybe this is you Aquarius feeling as though you have to fight for your choices in love maybe you have to feel like you have to defend yourself you've been feeling like you have to stand your ground maybe for some that is the answer the answer is to put your foot down and to be diligent to be consistent and to apply that pressure so it feels like we're really trying to make something happen it feels like we're really working with the universe i mean the universe is working with us in return seeing that we are truly giving a fuck about our love life and trying to improve in that sense does that make sense we have the three of wands some of you, you may be i feel like some of you may be in a long distance connection or there's something here about experiencing certain like cultural differences let's say with your future person so if you're involved with anyone this month let's say i see them coming from a different background than you there's something about the way like their upbringing culturally even that is different and i feel like they could be even coming from a different race racial background whatever anyways um, and like, like I said, there's something here about travel or us like just being more open-minded. Some of you may realize that you're finally going to give a chance to someone that has been like 
asking you out repeatedly essentially like someone that's been again putting pressure I also feel like some of you you haven't seen someone in a while like because of the distance okay we have the um, Emperor card someone may have been distant because of work as well especially if you know that you are experiencing like a workaholic type person someone that may be very wealthy possibly maybe very uh, very much like into their career like I feel so they have a solid career taking place or they're an entrepreneur they're always traveling or they're always just like on the move so I don't know if you're feeling a little bit like what is the point should I continue to invest myself in this because something that see because things have been kind of slow and not progressing fast because one thing that people don't really know about Aquarius is that you guys actually are like hopeless romantics. So I know that deep down you are kind of like a bit of an idealistic when it comes to your love experiences. Anyways. Yeah, I really see you guys just experiencing someone. They could be a fire sign also. Experiencing someone that is very much focused on making money right now. Very focused on their work. And maybe... They, there's like some emotional and or physical distance here that is at play but you are guided not to give up on your partnership and we're gonna look more into that bottom of the deck we have the queen of pentacles so it seems like you know we are about our money i also feel you guys overall that you have more of a sense of like understanding of yourself right now and this is really benefiting your love life so just keep that in mind especially for those of you who are single okay your value like you're understanding your value and i see that right now you're in a position where you just want things that are long term not necessarily like i don't know if you want something serious or not aquarius i don't know you personally like that i wish i did know you personally but with the queen of pentacles it's like we mean business like we only want to interact with people we only want like connections that actually fuel our soul in return right uh, we also have the Ten of Swords, so Ten of Wands. So this is what I'm saying, like someone feels as though there's an unevil balance. It feels like we we just give and give and give and people just take from us. So again, whether you're single right now, maybe it feels like nothing you're, no, none of your attempts are actually helping you. Or if you're in a relationship, it feels like the weight of the connection is on your shoulders. So it just feels like something is one-sided. And we are tired of that. I see that causing a lot of stress and arguments in your love life. Or just at least frustrations on your end, Aquarius. Okay? And then we have the strength card. Because I'm telling you, you're guided not to give up. But let, let me go ahead and ask the angels of love and romance for what guidance they may have. And like I said, if you'd like to book a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. But let's let's have a look at what the overall collective of the Aquarius is watching have to say. Let's see, what did the Aquarius watching have to know? Okay, so we got the passion card. This is not just passion when it comes to romantic love, Aquarius. I need to make that clear. It's just your overall passions. I told you at the beginning of the reading that you're going to be reconnecting with your inner child the things that you used to be passionate about the hobbies right so let's see what else do we have please for Aquarius what else do we have for Aquarius please what else do we have for Aquarius please what else do we have for Aquarius okay so like I said passion card so you know I wasn't lying we have forgiving and learning and we have true love a lot of you need to release pains from the past apply the lessons and keep it pushing it's gonna help you be in alignment with your true love without you harboring like guilt sadness all that stuff because i feel like a lot of you are holding on to a lot of negativity we have to cut that out because what are you chasing aquarius like what are you chasing okay at the bottom of the deck we have it is safe for you to love okay so that's why i'm feeling like work on this partnership be open-minded like this is safe also a lot of you just always feel like you have to be like in your masculine in the sense of like you always have to be looking out for yourself and protecting yourself like yes all these things but i feel like a lot of you have closed up your heart over time you may not have even noticed that you're not even comfortable being allowing yourself to experience someone else being there for you yeah and you're gonna tell me but victoria it's because no one's ever been there for me it's something like that but that's where the relaxation card comes in right allowing ourselves to ease ease into our new experiences and not forcing a certain outcome just because things are moving slowly right now okay stay optimistic about your love life 
worth waiting for so true love divine love like that love you seek it is worth waiting for or it is worth fighting for and then we have the codependency card self-explanatory i'm gonna just end the reading with general messages uh the sun is setting also sad sad tragic anyways i can't wait for summertime i really like summer is when i come alive i feel like that's my true essence right there i don't think i'm meant to be somewhere that experiences such cold winters how am i how am i living my true authentic self anyways let me know below where i should um where i should move to at this point okay let's see any more last minute messages for aquarius please more last minute messages for aquarius okay right off the bat your answer is yes if you're wondering yes to no answer your answer is yes we have improvements health improvements okay so make sure you look after your health make sure you go to that health checkup we got compromise i feel like a lot of you need to compromise when it compromise like your lifestyle like how much time you spend at work and how much time you spend like with your family something like that finding a healthy balance but i also feel like compromise in terms of like your relationships like love or platonic like make sure it's an equal balance equal give and take okay uh, especially with that codependency card it could feel like we're only doing something so long as someone else does it with us or which is not like you aquarius weird anyways uh pacific resolution i really feel like you're making up with someone so there's going to be some kind of apology some kind of compromise some type of everyone coming together but it feels like you have to really stand your ground for that first okay anyways you guys i'm gonna end it here give this reading a thumbs up so i feel like you love me back and I'll talk to you later. Bye.